The Big Five by Robert McCrae and Paul Costa. Roger McCrae was born April 28, 1949 in Maryville, Missouri, the youngest of three children, grew up with an avid interest in science and mathematics. After completing an undergraduate degree in philosophy from Michigan State University, he earned a Ph.D. in psychology from Boston University. Following the lead of Raymond Cattell, he began using factor analysis as a means of measuring the structure of human traits. After completing his academic work, McCray began working with Paul Costa. Paul T. Costa Jr. was born September 16 in Franklin, New Hampshire. He earned his undergraduate degree in psychology from Clark University and a Ph.D. from the University of Chicago. In 1978 he began working with Robert McCray at the National Institute of Aging, where he continues to conduct research on human development and aging. The collaboration between Costa and McCray has been unusually fruitful, with well over 200 CO-authored research articles and chapters, and several books. McCray, Costa, and others have used factor analysis to identify traits, that is, relatively permanent dispositions of people. Robert McCray and Paul Costa have insisted that the proper number of personality factors is five no more and no fewer. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Costa and McCray, like most other factor researchers, were building elaborate taxonomies of personality traits which they were using to examine the stability and structure of personality. As with many other factor theorists, they quickly discovered the traits of extroversion, neuroticism, and openness to experience. As with many other factor theorists, they quickly discovered the traits of extroversion, neuroticism, and openness to experience. As late as 1983, McCray and Costa were arguing for a three-factor model of personality. But by 1985, they begin to report work on the five factors of personality. Having added agreeableness and conscientiousness, Costa and McCray did not fully develop the A and C scales until the revised Neo Pi personality inventory appeared in 1992. Recently, the five factors have been found across a variety of cultures and using a number of languages. In addition, the five factors show some permanence with age. That is, adults tend to maintain a consistent personality structure as they grow older. First one is openness to experience which most of these traits are pretty self-explanatory describes people who are curious and excited about the world around them and interested in exploring new things. Exotic nature inspires them. They are innovative and creative. They feel that everything is an opportunity to learn new things. People who score low on this scale usually don't break out of their comfort zone very often. The idea of new things makes them uncomfortable. Conscientious, they tend to pay more attention in the detail. Not excited, they tend to put a critical effort on organizing their everyday activity and they feel concerned about situations. Sometimes they are related OC disorders. People who score low in terms of conscientiousness are usually more likely to let things happen without planning or organizing. On extremities, some psychologists call this as impulsiveness. Extroversion, they are more likely to respond positively to the stimuli of the outside world and they have a strong need to talk and share their thoughts to everyone. On the other hand, introverts prefer to eliminate outside stimuli and focus inward. They actually feel drained after they do talk people. Agreeable as people who are more willing to take action in order to make peace with others. They are kind by nature. 
Patients would sacrifice what they want in order to not engage in any kind of conflict. When you score low on this, it is either you are competitive or agreeable. Neuroticism or known as emotionality. People who score high on this are more likely to experience heightened feelings of anxiety, paranoia, depression, or aggression. They are easily stressed out. Emotional and reactive to almost everything. If you score low on this, it means that you have emotional stability.